day. Welcome to Sunflower SC. Hope you guys are fine. I'm also fine. Today is a festival day in the southern part of uh, India. Uh, the festival is, the festival name is called Pongal. So Pongal means it's basically a farmer's festival. So for that, I'm going to make uh, Rava Pongal. That's my recipe today. Before we get into the video, those who haven't subscribed, please subscribe, bell notification, get into the video. Ella Uravar Kalakum, Inia Uravar Tirunal Vartuka. You guys are very, very important in our life. Ninga Vaila Vaila Senjata, Nanga Sapada Mudia. So Ella Nalla Ranga Ella Varamu Pitcher. Let's get into the video. So now I have on the stove and uh, I pour two tablespoon of ghee because this particular pongal you can only cook with the ghee not with the oil. So once it is hot what we can do, let me take another spoon please. Okay, now what we can do, one teaspoon of jeera and then one spoon of black pepper. Then one teaspoon of nicely chopped ginger. Then one small handful of curries. Now we have to add some cashew nuts as well for this pungal. And then give a stir nicely. And then add, this is correctly one cup of um, uh, semolina. In Tamil we call it as rava, but this is one cup of semolina. For this one cup of semolina, uh, I always take one is to two, that means the water. But you can take two to two and a half. I'm going to pour today two and a half of a uh, cup of water, hot water, not cold water, hot water. Okay, the last three ingredients like uh, salt we have to add, enough salt and then asphaltida powder that is nothing but in our language we call it as peringai thulu korchu. Panjama peringai thulu. I, I put only little but if you want up to your option eh? then as I told you earlier for one cup of semolina two and a half a cup of water, hot water. That I'm going to add into it. So now you can see. So we finished almost all the work. Now we just have to stir and bring into a semi-solid consistency. Like uh, when you cook uh, the pop consistency and all that. Like that. You can see how colorful it is. The nuts. The jeera, the black pepper, and the curry leaf. So give us a couple of seconds. It's done. It's almost done. We have to finally garnish uh, um, like one spoon of ghee again, and that's it. You can see the one item I need to add. It was in the cooker. It's called moong dal. If you show. Uh, short closer. It's called Moong uh, In our language we call it as Pasi Parip. So that you have to boil it in the pressure cooker. I took it only um, two tablespoons because it's one cup of samolina. So I took two uh, level tablespoons and I made it boil. I did not smash. I didn't like it. That's why I'm adding only in the last. When they eat they must have that nice crunchy feeling. So now I'm final, finished. Now nothing has to be done. It's now a 
nice, nice rava pongal ready. Okay, this is called urdal. It's all available in the Indian market, uh, Indian stores. So I soaked this for four hours. Now I'm going to wash and I'll put it in the jar for grinding. So you wash it two times because when we soak or before we soak, we always wash and then we soak. So twice is fine. Yeah. I finished one time. This is the second time. can see the grind the paste of this urdal and now I'm going to first add red onion it's my way of doing ginger and uh, three to four chilies because this is one cup of uh, urdal and the onion is medium one and I will crush a little bit of black pepper not even quarters but just one or two times you just to twist it then enough salt then curry leaf okay. now let's start to mix this is I'm telling you again this is my way of making urunuvada okay now the pay the oil is hot I'm going to make a vada now medu vada my Children likes the small version. That's it. I think I can put two more. Ne? Hmm? Yeah. One more. Just push like this and then one more. Then one, when it is uh, cooked or fried one side, then flip it on the other side and put it over. I hope you have enjoyed the video if you like the video please subscribe and share with your friends and families and give your opinion in the comment box this is the way I can make it so I'm happy and my family also happy let me taste for you guys now so what I'll do little bit of sambar sambar recipe and all I did not show because I've shown during my idli and dosha vlog mm. Let's over them the semolinas and the other nuts taste and all. But it should be like that. You must get the ghee feeling nicely. Anyway, thanks for watching. Once again, Ella Uravar Perimakalakum, Inia Uravar Tirunal Vartukal, Happy Pongal. Do watch my videos, subscribe my videos. We'll meet you at another vlog. It's bye from Sunflower FC. Bye.